The Industry's Effect Bairana Saleh, Fatima Kashwani, Jen Abdullah, and Zara Khalil According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the industry is the largest contributor of greenhouse gases. As of 2019, the industry has released around 2,000 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases are gases that prevent heat from leaving the atmosphere, or in other words, the causes of climate change. Climate change has already had many effects on the environment, including, but not limited to, loss of sea ice. As you can see in the chart below, the minimum amount of sea ice is decreasing at a rate of 13.1% per decade. Climate change, an indirect result of human industrialization, is endangering animals in the Arctic region. Walruses are one of the many animals that depend on sea ice. It is where they eat, it is where they rest, it is where they mate, and most importantly, it is where they live. So what happens when that sea ice disappears? This is known as a hollow. It's when thousands of walruses gather up on land to rest since there is no sea ice. This combined with the fact that they scare easily and weigh tons can only mean one thing, stampedes. These stampedes can kill hundreds, most of whom are calves. What does this mean for the walrus population? Walruses aren't the only ones struggling, it's other animals as well. As with the walruses, seals need sea ice. Pups have to spend the first few weeks of their life on the ice to really be ready to be on their own. However, since the sea ice is melting at a faster rate, they are left unprepared and defenseless. Additionally, the ice serves as protection from predators as a source of food for the seals. Their diet consists of the small crustaceans and fish that hang around and feed on the algae near the sea ice. With the home of their prey being destroyed, these seals find themselves with a depleted food, sort, food source causing them to starve. We're all connected and like one little thing kind of gets removed. It can be a pretty like dramatic cascade of, of impacts down food chain or up a food chain, kind of all around. The endangerment of these seals can also pose to a threat to the health of other animals. Polar bears have already had their hunting season cut short due to the ice melting. Not to mention their primary prey, seals are dying, making the situation much worse for them. Polar bears try to eat as much as they can to store fat so that when the hunting season is over, they'll be able to last without food for a while. But because there's a reduction in both ice and seals, these bears are left in poor body condition. These animals are only some of the ones belonging to the Arctic region, but animals from all around the world are being threatened by climate change. This consists of pandas who are able to eat as much healthy bamboo, and the monarch butterflies that can no longer depend on the temperature to tell them when to reproduce, migrate, and hibernate, or even green sea turtles whose habitats are being destroyed by storms. The plants in which Asian elephants feed on being outnumbered by invasive plants, as well as cheetahs finding it much harder to reproduce nowadays due to the rising temperatures. And finally, gorillas who are being introduced to new diseases because of the different rainfall patterns and temperatures. Within the period of recorded observation, many animals have lived and died out, various causes contributing to their extermination, not least among these being in the presence of mankind. If things have gotten so much worse over the course of a hundred years, what will happen in a hundred years from now? You can make a change, and here's how. Um, um, so things like turning off the lights when you're, you're not using them, um, reducing your reliance on single-use plastic, so single cups, reusing a water bottle, and see what else uh, as far as any new actions not buying a phone every time a new one comes out, just like keeping your phone for longer and recycling the ones you do have and making sure that the minerals um, that are mine, you know, that you are mining the earth for can be reused from your own phone instead of just like putting it in a drawer and then never dealing with it again. Um, so the
Here are other ways you can help. Fund researching on websites that you know will contribute 100% of its profits towards the animals. This includes sites that end with .org or .gov so you know they're trustworthy. Use less fuel transportation. Use renewable energy. Use more energy efficient light bulbs. Reduce water waste in which water redu- saving water reduces carbon pollution too. Reduce reliance on single use plastic items. But these include bottles, cups, and utensils. Recycle as much as possible. Avoid products that include excessive packaging. And replace a meal with a plant-based one every week. These are just some of the basic ways you can help on a daily basis. By doing these simple things, you can help make a difference in the world for these poor animals. Thank you.